This is, um, I'm Allison Rents, and I am going to teach you how to make a Tip Your Artist envelope. Tipping your artist is something that um, I suggest you do when you like some art but you aren't going to buy it. Um, you can just put a little bit of money into the envelope and give it to an artist to thank her for her beautiful work. You'll see in the envelope it is affixed with this um, red restickable label and there's an insert and the insert says when you like some art but you aren't going to buy it give the artist some money to thank her for creating the beautiful moment you experienced. The other side this says art is work um, and then it says tip your artist okay so the first thing that you need is um, this piece of paper um, this piece of paper you can print it out on my website. On my website, um, I have the file of PDF. Or, and you should print it out at a hundred percent. There, it's okay that it leaves a white border. Um, so if you have a, a cutter, you can first cut the sheet of paper in half right here along this line. Um, but I usually just uh, cut out along all of these um, gray shapes. I cut the gray shapes out. Um, and I try to be as exact as I can if need be it's kind of good to cut in to the white area a little bit that way the gray doesn't show up I'm using these nice sharp sewing scissors but you should use whatever scissors you have available of course so I'm just going to for the purposes of this video cut out one of the envelopes Like so. So here you have the um, finished cutout. Um, and next, you fold it. Oh, let's see. Oops. On my website, I have um, a file which has these dashed lines right here, and they show you where the folds need to be. Let's see, dashed lines. So to fold it, you flip it over so that the printed side is down, and then you lift one of these flaps up. And crease, fold along the dotted edge. This thing keeps zooming in and out. 
We're focusing in not focusing. Very annoying. Um I crease with my fingernail. And then it doesn't matter which of these flips. I mean flaps you fold first. But the way I do it is I do a little dip, a little fold on the corner and a fold on the other corner, and then I set it on the ground on the table or whatever. And I flip this up and then it kind of naturally goes into a fold and then I crease it with my finger. And then you do the same thing up here and you want to pay attention to folding right at the corner there. Right at the corner. And then bring it down. You can see the dashed line, um, and then you crease. Okay, so the next fold is going to be along this dashed line. And so you bring the corner in, and you need to be able to see that dashed line right here. and then you crease down. You see, you want to see the dashed line on this side as opposed to the other side because it just looks better. And you do the same with the other corner. And bring it down the dashed line. And there you go. You have the envelope shape. Okay, the next thing that you do is you have a glue stick. I've been buying glue sticks um, at the dollar store. They were like four for a dollar. And you're going to glue this upper corner, the whole triangle, and glue the whole triangle on the other side. And then I usually go in a little bit in here just to make it extra well secured. And you smooth it down with your finger. Now you're going to take the glue stick and you're going to run down like that. And then start in this corner and run down like that. So you want to make sure the glue stick stays on this flap and doesn't go over here because then you'll stick your glue, your uh, envelope will stick closed and then that'll be a problem. So then on the other side, I'll keep it oriented the same way, then you do the same thing. Start it there and then go down and then start at this corner right here and bring it down. Okay, now you fold the flap up, smooth, smooth. Sometimes this little part doesn't get stuck and if that happens then I just lift it up and run a little bit of glue right there. Okay, make sure you put your cap on your glue stick. Um. And then what you need, and I guess I will show in a separate file how um, video how to cut this file, but you need the insert. And the insert is important because if you give it to an artist who is not aware of the project, and you just say thank you and you hand them the envelope, then they won't exactly know what this is about. So it's nice to have the little insert that they can read. So you just put it in there and I like to put it with the text here so that the person knows there's something in there to read. And then you take one of these um, red stickers and you can buy those let's see, at Office Depot. Um, they're like $6.99 and 
in the container, there is a thousand and eight labels. Um, these are things that you can run through your printer. Um, and they also have, there's an Avery label version of this, and I saw that they sell it at Staples as well. Um, wait, so you can buy them at any office store. Office Depot and Office Max are the same thing, though. Let's just put the little sticker right here. And there you have your envelope. Now, I suggest if you are um, an artist or a gallery and you have a show, or a gallery and you have a show to just give the artist a sticker um, to put on them somehow so that uh, people know that they're the artist and they know who to um, give the tip to. Okay, well thank you very much. My name is Allison Rents and please tip your artist.